It's Peter Zalem's Greeny Flix Adventure 8, and now I'm doing another review on another Peak Design bag. This is the one here. This is a six liter bag. I have reviewed the everyday three liter, that was in a previous video, but this is the six liter version. Well, there's some fundamental differences between the 3 litre and the 6 litre version. The 6 litre version is a little bit bigger, but basically the design is the same. I think a few extra pockets as well. It's also got these tags that you can clip on and clip off. Like so. And adjustable as well. So you can clip these back on and you can carry a jacket or whatever. And, uh, and then zip it up, and then that can be a tripod pod as well. So with the tripod, the tripod's quite heavy. It handles the weight well, like so. Pretty good. Adjustable straps again. So these straps can be unstrapped. Unclipped from these tags here, you can see these tags. And you can put those away. There's a little zip pocket. Straight forward. And uh, there's enough room for a water bottle. I'll take that out. And I've got my camera. The zips here open up completely, which means that the whole lock can be opened up quite easily. I've got my camera. I like a monochrome, M10 monochrome, and my Similux 35 1.4. And here you can see, you've got uh, your zip here. You've got a couple of these wonderful dividers, which have a split in here. So you've got a, a top section and a bottom section. Brilliant. One difference between the 6 litre version and the 3 litre version is that this one has two dividers. As opposed, as opposed to the three liter one, which has only one divider. So you can put a much larger camera in here, or you can carry two Leica M cameras quite easily in here, plus a water bottle, which is pretty good. The other advantage of the six liter version is that you've got this extra pocket here where you can carry a, an iPad or a tablet in there. So that's good. You've got these fancy straps that lock, so you can unlock like that and adjust like that and then lock again or vice versa. Unlock, pull it through and then lock it again. So, and then it can be also put around your waist because you've got these quick release tag here, which just slides off. You can see, quick release. <laughs> Yeah, come on. There you go. Quick release and a little bit fiddly. There you go. Voila. It's probably quick on. It goes on really easily. Quick. And uh, at least that way you can get that off as well if you need be. Okay, what else can I tell you about the bag? So you've got these little side pockets here also, so it's good for business cards. Um, it's made of a tough material, it's got padding as well, so your camera gear is pretty safe in here. And pretty much weatherproof as well, I imagine if you, if you soak it, water will eventually get in there um, but otherwise it's uh, pretty tough pretty good all-rounder I'd say it complements my many bags that I have the challenge today is to also take some photographs I've got the monochrome out I find that when I take the monochrome out I just have to put myself into a black and white mode Best way to get motivated is just to take a photograph. So I'll take a photograph right here.
GoPro, your subject. Okay, we'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. And the bag can be the subject as well. There you go. How's that? Subject all lined up. Is it any good? It's all right. You get the field is really narrow at 1.4, so I just managed to get the design in focus. Maybe we'll have to do another one and try and get the EQ in focus. Ah, it's a great shot if I say so myself. So. It's all about taking photographs, isn't it? You can just get one shot out. You can make the day. Yeah, how I first came across Peak Design was through their camera straps. Uh, more so, the unique design of these little anchors where you can just remove the strap whenever you want. So you don't have to have the strap around the place if you just want to take photographs. <laughs> And then you can connect the strap again quite easily just um, by grabbing the strap and putting in there and doing that. My original story which with these little anchors, these anchors are available in non-branded version as well and that's how I was introduced to the concept. But when I smashed a camera lens and filter then that uh, quickly taught me a lesson to go and investigate the original product which is the Peak Design one and find out why these are so good and the non-brand ones are so bad. There was a video on that as well. A link up there. Yeah, I like the different colors. These um, bags come in many different colors. This one's a blue one. Uh, the three liter one is sort of a silvery one and then there's, all, of course, there's black. Um, I'm really impressed with how much design and thought that goes into everything that Peak Design make, whether it be the way the straps attach to the bag through these lugs, the amount of stitching that there is to make sure that nothing breaks. It's incredible. There's a lifetime guarantee on all their equipment apparently. Um, just even these tags here, the way they've been stitched up so you can get your fingers around there. It's uh, really quite amazing how much thought that goes into designing and putting these bags together. And the amount of stitching, like this handle here, the fact that you can just pick it up with a handle is great, but then the amount of stitching that's around here as well to hold it all together, I'm impressed. Like most things with time, will determine the longevity of these uh, bags, but I suspect it will live a long time. The strap looks strong. I hope you found this video interesting. If you have, then give it a thumbs up. If it's a first time on my channel, then do subscribe and uh, press notifications. You'll be notified when the next video is out. In the meantime, I better go take a few more photographs so that I can put a few of these photographs on this video as well, just for your entertainment. Anyway, see you again. See you next time on the next video, maybe. Cheers. Bye.